What's going on, YouTube community? It's your boy Wab Jim Blog TV coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. So the Cleveland Cavaliers, they're go they are going to the NBA Finals, and this is LeBron James' fifth NBA Finals. You know, people have been making a lot of hoop raw about it. Listen, no disrespect, the man is great. You know, he's done some incredible things. But at the end of the day, let's just be real. Once again, it's the East had an easy path. Uh, probably this is the most easiest path. I don't give a damn if I have no Kevin Love or no banged up Kyrie. This was the easiest path, okay? Let's be real. As great as LeBron is, let's be real. I think he's the second player to do this since Bill Russell, I believe. But, I mean, you know, I'm not making a big deal out of it because, like I said before, as long as LeBron James continue to keep, you know, playing productive and being good and have some great pieces around him, whether it's shooters or big men, until somebody step up or team get better and step up, he's going to always be going to the East Conference Finals and uh, Finals. I've said he's probably going to have the, a record for going to the, well, at least minus Bill Russell, he's going to have a record for the new age as far as going to the Finals and East Conference Finals, bro. You know, until, you know, somebody decides to take him out. But anyway, <laughs> still a good accomplishment, you know, to get Cleveland to the finals. You know, they, they haven't been since, what, 2007. So, this is, you know, this, this is nice. But, you know, I'm not making it a big spectacle like ESPN. You know how ESPN, a lot of media outlets, they, 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 they overhype shit as far as a lot of things with LeBron and other players, you know, other all other great players. Like I said, they did it they did it with Jordan, they did it with Kobe, they did it with now they're doing it with LeBron and they're gonna do it with the next, you know, big person. But anyway, um I'm not really gonna talk about this game too much because let's just be real. The Atlanta Hawks, you know, they started off flat, they didn't play well, they got their ass beat. Cleveland came in, basically had their mindset, they're gonna sweep this team. I actually thought the Atlanta Hawks were at least gonna get one game, but I guess game three was like their only chance. Game four, I just felt like they was gonna to try to come back because they saw how they performed in game three, but it didn't happen. They ended up losing about thirty or thirty one points, something like that. And um man, they just they just got killed. You know, LeBron James, he had pretty much throughout the series 27, 10, and 9, some shit like that. You know, great series compared to the last series he had where he didn't really shoot the ball well or anything like that. But in this series, I noticed he was getting to the basket, playing the paint more. And you can do that when you really don't have any bigs. <sighs> you know, no really no solid defenders down there, period. You Like, I think any great player can do that, you know. Um and he took advantage of it. Now, you know, some people, you know, ESPN, like I said, said the man averaged 30. Well, from what I saw, he didn't average 30, okay? That's what I'm talking about. They, they packed these damn stats. Um, but anyway, you know, the Atlanta Hawks, they just didn't have no life. Um, pretty much this whole series from Culver going down. Um, um, uh, Damari Curl, Curl going down. So he damn near was playing hurt throughout the rest of the, this series. Um once the playoffs started, the Atlanta Hawks, their offense regressed. You know, during the season, they was looking like the Spurs. They were moving the ball well, shooting the three ball well. Well, it seemed like when the playoffs started, everything regressed, and and and, and it just it just didn't get no better. Um, they once again they get they kept getting out rebounding in this game. I think Cleveland, let me see, fifty six rebounds compared to thirty nine. So that was one of their problems. You know, even though you know Tristan Thompson is not even a seven footer. That's the crazy part about it. And I don't even think Timothy Goss, uh, Mozgov is, is his seven footer. It's just, if he is, he's probably at seven foot. It's just that those bigs and Tristan Thompson alone just out hustled Al Horford and Paul Millsap. They was more determined to get the rebounds because when you're leveled out equally at the same height, Paul Millsap and Al Horford and Tristan Thompson. You shouldn't just keep getting beat damn near every game and rebounding. It should either be equal or at least vice, you know, for each game it can switch up. But they was just getting out rebounded bad, you know, 56 to 39 in this game. I, I don't even know. I'm pretty sure throughout the whole series, Cleveland has the, you know, they rebound out rebounded the Hawks the most. Um, you know, they, 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 they shot the three ball well. And once again, you know, look at the Atlanta Hawks. They was 5 of 32 in this game from the three ball. 15%. 36 of 85, 42%. Cleveland shot 41% from the three point line. I swear to God, it was supposed to be the other way around. Hawks were supposed to be the hot shooting team in this series as far as from the three point line. But it's just, it just, like I said, it just didn't work out for him. Uh, you know, now LeBron, he didn't, you know, of course. Throughout the whole playoffs, he hasn't shot the three ball well. 
at all, you know, so <clears throat> I'm surprised he's still even taking them, but, you know, he was 10 for 20 from the field, 23 points, 9 rebounds, 7 assists. Uh, Mozgov had 14 points, 7 rebounds. Tristan Thompson had 16, 11. Now, I ain't going to say Mozgov, but Tristan Thompson can be a walking double-double in the finals. You know, uh, Kyrie Irving had 16 points. It was good to see him back, but you can tell that he's not 100%. And he, and he won't be 100%. Even with the 8 days, 9 days off, he's not going to be 100% because of the, you know, the, the injury is bad, his toe and his knee. Like, you're not going to heal in nine days. And then when you do come back and play, which he will play in the finals because I don't think there's no way he's not going to sit out. Because, like I said before, Cavs finally will have a great opponent to go up against. Finally. The East teams, no competition. Now they're about to have some competition, so they're going to need everybody to be on point. I'm going to make a video about that after I see what happens with the Houston, you know, with this Rockets game. If the, if the Warriors can wrap this up, then I'm going to make my prediction video as far as for the finals. Um, J.R. Smith had 18 points played, good shot the ball well. And then, you know, you have those other guys that can come in and con that came in and contributed also. And like I said, the Atlanta Hawks, they need to get bigger, you know, um, and – just got to play with some more heart and effort, you know. Jeff T, you know, he he tried to do something, but from the start of the series, he should have been that guy to try to be that star on that team, get to the basket, and um, it just didn't work out. Now points in the paint, pretty much equal, fifty-two to forty-eight. Atlanta won that. Um, fans rate points ten to eleven. Both teams didn't turn the ball over, so that's good. But um, it was just at the end of the day, they didn't have that superstar that can actually keep the game close or hit certain baskets, you know, like in game three, for instance, a Carmelo or a Kobe or a Katie, well, healthy Kobe, a Katie or Westbrook would have did better down the line in that game, prevail, prevail them, prevail them to victory. You know, Jeff T did a lot of sloppy things, even the coach, but, you know, it is what it is, you know, Hawks got swept. Um, I think this is by far, even though the Houston Rockets, you know, they're down 3-1. At least the first two games was competitive. You know, they didn't just come out and just lay an egg. At least the first two games was close and competitive, you know. Third game, where we know what happened. Fourth game, it was the opposite, you know. It was still competitive because the Warriors managed to get back in the game. But in the East Conference Finals, it's like, these dudes didn't even put up an effort, except for game three. Except for game three. But, um, yeah. Moving on to the uh, finals, man. Should be interesting. Now, Golden State just need to hurry up and wrap this series up. And don't give um, the Rockets no fucking breath of life. But anyway, guys, comment, subscribe, favorite, like, share. Check out my previous videos. Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, Kick, Instagram, all them social media sites in the links. And once again, I have yet to do it. But once again, my Facebook now is Johnny YFGM Blog TV Johnson. And I'm out, y'all. Deuces. Keep supporting, man. Oh, and for the people who want to try to talk shit about my titles being misleading, they're not misleading. Yeah, they're not highlights, but I'm trying to get everybody to watch. But anyway, I'm out. Deuces.